every mom makes sacrifices for her children, uh, but some go above and beyond, and that's exactly what my next guest did. Uh, please welcome Tanisha and her husband, Tim. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tanisha, tell us a, a little bit about uh, you and your family. Uh, well, Tim and I have been married for three and a half years, um, but we've known each other our whole lives, and right now we have 18-month-old twins. Uh, we have a boy and a girl, Asher and Axa. Yes, we both um, grew up in Jamaica. Uh, we met, uh, well, on Facebook. <laughs> and uh, we d started dating, and uh, thereafter we got married. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So did you try for kids immediately? Uh, yes, we did. But I ended up having three miscarriages back to back, and the third one was um, particularly difficult. Um, I, I, hem I was hemorrhaging and I almost bled to death. And at that point, the doctors weren't sure whether or not I was gonna be able to have children. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, I got pregnant again. And um, we found out that we were having twins. And you know, that was great because Tim has always wanted um, to have twins, yeah. but that made a high-risk um, pregnancy um, even that more high-risk. Mm -hmm. um, after being on bed rest for two months, um, I still delivered the babies early. Um, I had them 14 weeks early, and when they were born, um, they were only a pound and a half each. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, not only that, they had um, holes in their heart. Axa, our daughter, she had four surgeries, but um, Tanisha, being that, um, the type of person she, she, she was, she literally stayed at the hospital, even when they told her go home for right. about three months. Yeah, and um, after that, they were finally able to come home. Yeah, that, I mean, that had to be, how was that to finally get them home? It was good in the sense that, you know, we were excited that hopefully the worst part of it was finally behind us. But it was challenging because even though they were home, they still had a lot of difficulties that they were facing. And what made that even more difficult was the fact that Tim is a truck driver. So mm -hmm. um, he was on the road a lot and he, mm -hmm. he took a lot of extra hours. Um, so a lot of, the, a mm -hmm. lot of the, the things that we went through, you know, I was, I was home without him going mm -hmm. through that. Um, um, one of the yeah. biggest challenges that they faced was that um, they would regurgitate in their sleep and they would sometimes stop breathing. And I remember the first time that happened was with my daughter. And um, I was lying there at the, the foot of her crib and I heard her gagging and there was milk coming out of her, her throat, or her nose and her mouth and she was just gasping for breath. And I had to, to pick her up and, and give her infant CPR and just beg her, just breathe, baby, just breathe, because, you know, after going through four surgeries with her, her and, um, and finally getting her home, I, I just could not have, you know, just lose my baby like that. And so, you know. Um, how, how are the kids now? Well, Steve, thank God. Um, Doctor said now um, they were doing much better, you know? <laughs> and um, yeah, we're, we're actually looking forward to take them to see you know, family members in Jamaica. Yeah. But you know what, Steve? She is the one that really um, put everything off. Some, some days we have to remind her to eat, you know? But it, it's hard mm -hmm. when, you, when you have children but, in, in that kind of situation to think about yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to have um, shoulder length hair and um, when the babies were in the NICU, I cut that all off because um, that was taking up too much of my time. Wow. But you know, Tim is still working um, yeah. really hard. Yeah, to, as far you know, as, um, you know, I'm still working overtime, six, seven days a week, you know? Yeah, to, um, to get to us out, get of, out of debt. Yeah, you know, um, you don't know this, uh, but your husband uh, really brought you here uh, to be honored as today's super mom. That's really why you're here. Uh, see, see, we heard from him about this incredible woman that he was married to that has sacrificed so much of herself for her children. 
And uh, someone very special is here to celebrate you. She's a mother of twins also. You've got something special for Tanisha, though, Mariah. Well, we have a team of people that I want to give to you for a makeover oh. to happen for you today because you're a super mom. Yeah. <laughs> but so now, they're waiting listen, for you. Yeah. this is Mariah's glam squad. Oh. <laughs> this is the real deal. This is her people gonna take care of you. Uh, now, that's just your first surprise. Yes. Oh. Uh, I'm also a spokesperson for a company called Green Dot, and they heard about your struggles and they wanted to help. So that's why I reached out to them and told them what we were doing, and they're giving you $5,000 on a Green Dot reloadable prepaid card. <laughs> and, uh... And uh, they don't know this, but since I'm the spokesperson and I talk too much, uh, we're going to make it $10,000. <laughs> and uh, listen, uh, Mariah's Glam Squad is ready backstage to give Tanisha a head to toe makeover. Yeah. We're going to see you back later with your new look. Just see what we got for you. <laughs> and we're going to have some more surprises for you. Hey, folks, uh, for more information on Green Dot, head over to steveharveytv.com. Hey, folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.